Hi everybody. Today we're going to make lasagna. Okay. Um, I pretty much have everything ready to do this, but um, I'm going to tell you, I, I do two different ones. Okay, I do a regular lasagna with the meat in it. And then, of course, I have to do one without the, um, the meat for my sister, the vegetarian. Somewhat of a vegetarian. Um, but anyways, that's another story. So we're going to get down to business. Okay, so I have the lasagna noodles that I've already par-cooked. Uh, nine minutes. I have my ricotta cheese, um, um, my eggs, my, um, I'm using canned mushrooms because I forgot to buy fresh mushrooms yesterday, um, artichokes, um, roasted peppers, my cheese, my sauce, my parsley, and my ground hamburger. Oh, it's going to be it's a nightmare. I have to turn away for one second, but I'll be right back. I'm back. See? She's still going to yell at me. But this is my meatballs I had in my sauce, and I took them all out and I mashed them up. That's for the lasagna. All this other stuff here is for the vegetable lasagna. Um, these are all the vegetables I have, so she's going to have to suffer with what I have today. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of move things around a little bit. I'm going to take the ricotta cheese and we're going to get it ready. Okay. Oh, I forgot the onion. Um, okay, so we're just setting that aside. So I'm going to get the, the ricotta cheese out if I can. Give it up. Uh, throw that in here. You know, some people use uh, cottage cheese. You know, if that's what you like, use it. Uh, I like the, the ricotta cheese. Okay, I put the cheese in it. I put, um, uh, I, I use this Italian style. It's got uh, provolone, parmesan, romano, asiago. So I put this in here. And um, there's no really, it's all on how much you want in there. I, 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 I kind of put a lot in there because I like it nice and creamy. Um, although I don't eat it, I'm not a, a, a I'm not a fan of uh, uh, stuffed noodles or lasagna. So I probably put maybe a cup to what two pounds, two pounds of uh, ricotta. Um, I put salt and pepper, little salt, little pepper. handful of parsley. This is just for color. Anyways, put a handful of parsley in, maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then add your eggs. Now, I'm going to, I, I, I took two out, but I'll probably only need one. Okay. But I'm going to crack it in a bowl. You know, that while we're talking, you know, I've already washed my hands. Everybody always should have clean hands when they cook but I'm gonna tell you the hat you're always gonna see me with a hat on whether it be this kind of hat or a baseball hat that's me I like to wear hats um, and, and it saves from getting hair and stuff in your food uh, the apron I, I use the apron because I'm constantly looking for a rag to put, put my hands on so if I don't have the towel in my hand I swipe it on my apron uh, but anyways okay back to this add my egg and then I'll stir it up. Now I might need two eggs. I don't know until I get it mixed. If I need two, I'll put the other one in. If not, it goes back in the refrigerator. And it doesn't look like I'm going to need two eggs. Okay, we're going to mix this up just like this. And you're going to have a nice cheesy. There we go. Now, um, now we can get ready and start making lasagna. Okay, and now we're going to start putting this together. Now, this tomato sauce here, remember um, if you watched my video of making my sauce, well, this is the sauce we made. 
Um, I had thrown it in the freezer and froze it. And uh, I brought it out yesterday. I thawed it out, warmed it up, and that's the sauce we're using. So I didn't have to make any special sauce. Okay, so this is the way I make my, my uh, lasagna. Um, I put a little sauce on the bottom of the pan. Um, usually I use a Bechanel and, um, and I put it, uh, it's a white sauce and I put it on the bottom. Today I'm just going to use the red sauce. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do the other one um, with a manicotti or something. So I put a layer of sauce down. Okay, so then I'm going to set this aside for a second. Um, a lot of people, they take their noodles, okay? They take their noodles. There's a piece of plastic down, so don't worry, guys. I'm not on the table. Um, cellophane and me are best friends. Anyways, um, I, I I don't layer mine like most people. You know, they put the, the pasta down, and then they put the, everything in it, and then the pasta in it, and then they build it up. Me, not, I don't do that. I'll show you what I'm going to do, okay? Okay. Um, I will do uh, um, my sister's first, okay? And so what we do is, or what I do, is I put, put my um, cheese on my noodle like this, nice and pretty. What I, I will tell you that I usually put this in a bag um, and, uh, and I squirt the cheese out, makes it a lot easier, but today I'm not doing that. Um, I have, I have here some peppers. Um, these are the roasted peppers I did uh, out of my garden. Look how pretty they are. Anyways, there's my peppers. I have some onion here, the little onion. Uh, now, don't forget, this is uh, a vegetarian one, okay? And then I and I put everything on there that I want. These, these are artichokes, and I have a couple mushrooms, so we'll put them. Put that over here so I can grab them. Put a couple mushrooms on there. This is the vegetarian one. You can use anything. You want to use squash? Use squash. You know, whatever veggie you want. Then what I do is I take this and I roll it just like this. Okay, and you're gonna lose some. No biggie. You're gonna lose it, but you know what? It's all getting cooked in the end. So then, this is what I do, just like that. Oop, I lost a pepper. We'll pull it out. Then I put it in, and see what happens is, once you do that, I'll do another one. I take it, I put my cheese in, now watch, this will show you a little bit better. All this, uh, this is crazy. She loves this stuff. Um, me, I'm, I'm just a spaghetti and meatball kind of person, but everybody else likes this. Everything you lost on the, on the last turn, put back in. It's not garbage, just throw it back in. Throw a couple more mushrooms in there. Whatever you want. Get some roasted <clears throat> peppers. These are the ones I did on my grill. I bet these will be good in it. My sister's there. Her mouth is watering. I can see her from here. Okay. Couple one, couple more onions. We'll throw them in there. Okay. And we just take it and we roll it up. Doesn't matter what it looks like. But you see what happens is I'm it's layering all by itself. I'm not layering it. It's layering it itself. See? Then I put it in. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for a second. Okay, so I finished these up. Like I said, I roll them up. Okay, so now all I'm going to do if you notice, I have six of them here. So when I get these all cooked, I'm just going to get a, a spoon. I'm going to scoop them out. They're already done. You don't have to wait for them to cool or whatever. You scoop them out, set them, 
and you have your own piece of lasagna. And and I like it because I can um, freeze them that way too. But you know, if you like layering, layer. There's no right or wrong way, I don't believe. I just do this, put a little sauce over the top, and then load it with cheese. Throw it in the oven. Okay? This is how I do it. It's so simple. Messy, but simple. Well, it's messy the way I do it. But I like my way. There. So I got that all going. You can, if you want, you can take a little parsley. Put over the top to make it look a little prettier. There. And then let it cook. All right, we're going to throw this in the oven. Oh, probably uh, 30 minutes, maybe more. I have the oven at 350. We'll check it in a few minutes, about 30 minutes. We'll, we'll um, do the uh, meatball one. Um, this is the one that uh, most of them prefer. Uh, that's usually my sister's. Okay, we're going to start off again with with the, the sauce. This is the sauce we made. Okay. This one's a little neater. Now that I say that, it probably won't be. But, put your cheese on. Oh, you know what, I can get two out. This is the way I do it. You know, it's like, whatever. My mother used to do it the other way. She used to do it you know, in the pan, and then she'd mess with the, the cheese and and um, do it that way. I like doing it this way because then I don't it, I don't struggle when it comes to you know when you when, when you go to um, serve it, then all of a sudden it all starts falling apart. Nothing more aggravating to me. So that's why I do individual. Okay, so this one is. I put the the meat in there. These are the these are the meatballs we made that day. You know, I, I like to keep it chunky, um, but you know what? It's your preference. Uh, if you want to put sausage in there, put sausage in there. If I would have had sausage in the in the pot when I cooked it, it would have gone in here because sausage is really good with it. Um, now I'm not going to put anything else in here um, because. Uh, everybody just likes the cheese and uh, um, I should sneak the onion in. Um, why don't I move that bowl all the way for you, okay? I, I'm going to sneak these onions in here. She's, um, she's going. Okay, so she's afraid to talk. But that's all right. That's all right. She, she makes me do all the talking. All right, so then what I do is... See, I don't put no sauce in there or nothing yet. The sauce goes in after. Okay. Roll it up like that. Put it in your pan. Flat side down. And then what that does is gives your own. See, you think, you, you think you're fooling everybody by this time. Wow, that's four layers. Boy, she barely worked hard at that. Um. And, and in reality, you're sitting there smiling away, going, okay, whatever you think. Okay, see how nice that is? So you put that in there. Um, get, get going on a couple more. Okay, I'll finish these up, and I'll come back, okay? Okay, I got the rest of those stuffed, the meatball ones. Okay, so I'm just cleaning up my mess. See? Voila. Done. Nothing lazy about me. Okay, so I'm going to put my cheese over, or my sauce over it. And then I'm going to throw these in the oven. And then in a few minutes, we're going to have lasagna. Um, you're going to have, she's going to have lasagna, not me. Uh, okay, so I'm going to throw this cheese on. We'll load it right on there. Seems like everybody likes cheese. I'm, I'm not cooking for a bunch of people, so 
you know, I did a half a dozen uh, meatball ones and half a dozen veggie ones. Um, so, I mean, normally I would be doing two big pans of, of lasagna. This is the short version. This is the way I like to do it. I mean, if you do it, layer it, that's fine. Any way you want to do it, this is the way I like. I'll show you why as soon as I come out. See you in a bit. All right, guys. Our finished product. Here is the uh, lasagna with the uh, vegetables. And this is the lasagna with the meat. Okay? Like I told you, we, I just took this out of the oven, so let's check it out. Now... You know how you always have to cut yours and, and, and then hopefully I don't fall apart while you're digging it out, okay? Well, this is what I do. My fine china, right on there like that. And there's your finished product. Now, if you want, you can put a little more sauce over the top, you know, if that's what you want to do. Dress it up with a little cheese, okay? Yeah, everybody likes the cheese over the top of it. There. And that's your vegetable lasagna. Um, the same with the meat lasagna. I'm going to walk away here. I'm going to get another fine china out. You know, my sister always complaining because, you know, I overdo myself uh, with my plates. But let's face it. I don't have fine china. And... Um, if you do and you want to use it, yeah, more power to you. I like it because I can just take it, throw it in the garbage, no dishes to do. See, I play it smart. But anyways, this one here is the the, the meatball one. Okay, oh, I didn't dig far enough in. Well, there it is. Okay, and you do the same thing. That's the meatball one. Put a little, little bit of parm on there and you're ready to rock and roll. Hey, you guys, I hope you like this. And if you do, like my page. Give me a thumbs up. Share it if you'd like. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget, I'm on YouTube. And uh, um, subscribe to my channel. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. See ya. Bye.